Hey y'all, welcome back to Rooster's Barbecue. Got a fun little video today for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna unbox this masterpiece, the Red Tech Matador. Um, I actually won it this week in the Rectech a day giveaway, Matador a day giveaway for December that Rectech's doing. Um, was fortunate enough to win one. Um, before I get into that, I want to talk about this. Uh, it don't seem like much, but this is actually a pretty cool gift that uh, has a little story behind it. Um, this cup was actually a gift from Barrel Fever Professional Competition Cooking Team. Uh, they gave it to me earlier this week and uh, were just trying to support me and what I'm doing with this YouTube channel and uh, thought I needed something to keep my sauce or my juices warm in. Um, so that was why they gave it to me. Um, if you notice, I branded it with the Roosters Barbecue logo. And also down on the bottom uh, is another pretty cool logo. And if you haven't checked out Beer Me Augusta, check it out. A uh, real cool organization that, uh, you know, I also support. Um, but yeah, pretty cool cup. Really grateful to have it. And thanks to Barrel Fever uh, from Evans, Georgia. Watch out for them. Uh, now let's get started. All right. Let's go with the Matador. So I have been wanting a Matador since I got my bullseye. Um, I just felt like it completed the needs I had on my back porch. And uh, I have the RT680 and I have the bullseye, but needed something I could pan cook with. Um, I'm from New Orleans, so almost everything they cook there is in a pot or a pan. And so I wanted to be able to do my gumbo and my red beans and rice and my etouffee uh, out on my back porch while I'm hanging out, watching my little TV up there. Um, so also I like cooking breakfast. It's my favorite meal of the day. <laughs> That's why I wanted it. So we just, it looks like it's just a couple of parts. Um, these will be the legs. Bags. This is how you know it's a real unboxing video because I hadn't unboxed it yet. <laughs> Alright. Put these over here. So this is me in real time, like trying to figure out how this thing goes together. So we're all learning together here. Looks like uh, these just slide. Work with me, hands. There we go. Yeah. Seems pretty, pretty simple. Here's our fuel control and our hookup. Now we got a windscreen. even surprised um, it's rec tech but I did expect it to be a little bit more flimsy but this is solid as a rock Let's check out our pan 
Oh, 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 oh. You know, I've looked at these online and I've even gone to the Rectech store and looked at it in person. And I don't remember the pan being quite this big. This pan is monster sized. Oh, um, yeah, that's pretty big. Ooh. And heavy? I mean, this joker, this joker is heavy. Like, I'm straining to hold this thing up over stretching out. It's probably an improper lift. Rick Rick should put a warning on the box for this being a two man carry. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. These are the little clips for the legs, it looks like. That'll just hold them in place. It comes with an extension hose if you want to hook up a 20 pound propane tank, which I do. So definitely gonna need that. And it comes with a carrying case. And I thought this was really cool. I got a couple of uh, campfire stoves. Oh, it comes with one for the pan and one for the legs, it looks like. Or does it just come with two bags? No, one for the pan, one for the legs. That's pretty cool. I will definitely uh, be taking this camping. Trying not to lose none of my small parts. All right. This big box anyway. Yeah, so this thing looks great. Uh, went together real easily. <laughs> Sits on there. It's so heavy, you know. This is, this is a sturdy little grill. But uh, like I said, this is, this is to complete my little set. You know, I wanted uh, a Rectech 680 uh, to do low and slow cooks. And I needed a bullseye to replace a old crappy propane grill that I had forever. That cooked on high heat though. Uh, now I have a bullseye. And then this was really the one I wanted for something new to do out on the back porch, you know. Um, really love low country boils. I've seen a few people uh, use this for the low country boil. Um, but yeah, really cool looking. But I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna crank this up this morning and cook some bacon and eggs. So we'll add that onto this video too. So I guess we'll see you out on the back porch. Oh yeah. Yeah, that bull ring cooks all the way across the middle. Got some smoked bacon, smoked peppered bacon. Yeah. Turn it down a little bit. Alright, we'll get this wrapped up and get some eggs on there. Alright, got our eggs wrapped up. Got our bacon looking crispy. Oh, these eggs look great. I put a little uh, Savannah River Rub from Rectech Academy on them. It's going to be real good. Let's plate it up. See y'all at the table. Mmm, this looks good. Yeah, that Savannah River rub looks great on these eggs. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That Savannah River rub is great on eggs. This bacon looks crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Exactly what it is. No problems. Uh, never even came close to burning anything. You know, I had to cook on it. You know, it's a pot, not a grill.
Love my Matador. Thank you, Rectech Grills. Um, really completes what I wanted to do out there. Um, thanks to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do it. Ring the bell. It'll uh, let you know when I'm posting more videos. Check out Rooster's Barbecue Facebook page. Like it. And uh, we'll see you later for Chicken Alfredo.